Ottawa is launching a new Canadian Quantum Champions program with Toronto-based technology company Xanadu receiving $23 million as part of the project. You know, Canada is looking to keep this tech in Canada through the initiative as global competition ramps up. Here to talk more about Xanadu's place in this is a CEO, Christian Weedbrook. Christian, thank you very much for joining us today. Thank you for having me. I appreciate it. What, uh, what does this $23 million uh, do for you and what do you have to do with it? Honestly, um, what it does for us is it makes sure it increases the probability that we stay here in Canada. Um, you know, I, I think uh, historically, I'm originally from Australia, and historically, uh, I've learned that a lot of uh, great skills and people have left to go south of the border. Uh, more recently, we've seen that with the artificial intelligence community. We can't let that happen with the quantum computing community. Um, and so I see this as a way to, to make sure we stay here. Uh, and it makes sure that the IP and talent stays here in Canada. And uh, Xanadu is one of the largest companies, quantum companies in the world. And uh, four of us in Canada actually got this money. So that, that's how I see it. And uh, it's, not, it's, it's about not repeating the same mistakes in terms of the brain drain of the past. And I w I'm going to ask about that in just a sec, but I want to go. The other three companies, Anyon, NordQuantique, and Photonic, uh, do you see any synergies, any, any opportunities? Would you be working with them with this money, or is it, are you going to stay completely separate? I think with all of us, we all have uh, four different approaches to building a quantum computer. And uh, that really shows you the talent that we have in Canada. So we'll always look to, to partner up, particularly with our, 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 um, our friends here in Canada. Uh, but for the most part, I think this is more about uh, really doubling down on, on four major approaches that the different uh, Canadian companies offer to the world. And where, where's your direction? Where are, where are you heading and where will this money uh, help take that? Yeah, at Xanadu, we're actually building quantum computers using photonics or light. Uh, it's a very unique uh, but very beneficial approach to building a quantum computer. And the $23 million for us at Xanadu allows us to ramp up our, our spending, which would be used to hire many more people and also accelerate our innovation and growth here. Uh, and now you mentioned it, you wanted to stay in Canada, the importance of staying in Canada, but you're also in the uh, DARPA competition in the U.S. with the uh, American Defense and I think you're in for you've got 16 million in funding. You made it to that round and the possibility of 300 million. What kind of a pull will that have uh, for you to relocate or would you be forced to relocate if you get through to that next round? To our knowledge, there's no need or, or you know, pull for us to, to relocate uh, up until phase A and phase B, which you mentioned we got into. Phase uh, C is really the $300 million carrot, uh, but there's been no talk for us to actually move. Another thing to, uh, that's important to, to point out with our discussions with Minister Solomon, who's been re the real champion behind this, is phase one or phase A of the Canadian uh, Champions program is actually um, the same as phase A and B of the, of the U.S. QBI program. So it's a really one of these rare instances where the Canadian government is actually outdoing the, the, the U.S. government. So, um, you know, we're hopeful for this, this is just the, the start of funding. Uh, and we're really excited to see what uh, Canada will be sort of uh, giving to us and other companies for future rounds. And are, are you confident it would be confident enough, it, even if you do advance with DARPA, that you'd, uh, you'd be able to stay here and want to stay here? Want, that's 100%. Um, we've always wanted to stay here. Um, we've been we're into our 10th year now. We've hired uh, over 260 folks, so 85% of them are based here in, in Canada. Uh, we'll continue to do that. The talent is here. The money is here as well as we can see the government stepping up here. We've raised a lot. And so we have no plans to go. The pull is always there. Uh, the U.S. is obviously bigger and has a different mindset sometimes. Uh, but we want to do the same sort of thing that others are doing in the U.S. and doing here at home in Canada. And what's the latest on the IPO with uh, the SPAC merger with Crane? Yeah, thank you. Thank you for asking. It's exciting time for us and our, our team here. Uh, the latest really is it's in the hands of the SEC now. and We're looking uh, excitedly waiting for comments from them to go on to the next stage. And what would be the next stage? I mean, again, that's a, isn't that not another lure to, uh, to go south? Well, the good thing there is uh, we'll be actually listing on the NASDAQ and the Toronto Stock Exchange. So we're proudly Canadian. We'll be dual listed. Uh, but no, nothing changes our mind. We'll be uh, headquartered and listed uh, both in the U.S. And, and Canada. And a bigger picture, getting this, the funding that you're getting in the other companies, 
Does this really help strengthen and does this draw interest from around the world for uh, quantum computing in Canada? Yeah, for sure. Um, many people may not know, but the Canadian government through universities and so forth have been supporting the talent side of things for the last two decades or more here in Canada. So it's important that we leverage it and commercialize it. And uh, it really does keep us here. But as the government has said, this is just a starting point of funding for uh, you know the four co companies here in Canada, potentially more. And we anticipate to see much more funding come our way and the other companies as well here in Canada, further strengthening our ties here. And are we getting close to seeing seeing some, I, I, can, I don't know if you can call it a physical product with quantum computing, but are we getting close to something that uh, will be out? Yeah, so we, we have quantum computers available already in the last few years, and we continue to have them. Uh, we have them available online so people can actually access them wherever they are in the world and, and utilize the Internet to access our state-of-the-art quantum computers. We've had two big uh, uh, Nature paper publications this year. We are at the forefront anywhere in the world, and that really shows you what Canada is capable of doing. Um, they need to be bigger and more powerful, and so that's uh, really the reason why we're going public is the access to capital that we can improve them and speed up our process. So stay tuned to these powerful quantum computers that are coming in the next uh, few years. Okay, Christian, thank you very much for joining us today. Thank you. Christian Weedbrook is the CEO of Xanadu Quantum.